I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a roof rack. Let's get into it right now. So I bought a nice little Ford Transit Connect that I plan to turn into a camper van. And what's the first thing a camper van needs? Roof racks. So I go online and what? $3,000? And they're shitty roof racks too. Look at them. They're just metal cages. Nobody wants to go up there. So fuck it. We'll build our own. So if I could have any roof rack, what would I have? Well, it would hold my bike racks, my ski racks, my kayak racks, the Thule box, a solar shower, have room for the ceiling fan, have a nice comfortable area for just lounging and sunbathing in. I think we can do that. So what do we need? We need tubes, channel struts, bolts, these channel strut mounting things, gaskets, nuts, threaded rod, a bunch of holes in the roof of the van, plastic dip, wood, and varnish. And more varnish. All right, so here we are putting the roof racks on. As you can see, we've got these thicker struts, thicker square struts acting as spacers, held on with these longer um, thin struts, and they're just bolted in and bolted through right here, right? So same thing on the other side, we got this strut here, we're just placing it on here. So we place it on, line it up. Place it on, line it up, and then we've got these little gaskets here. So they're just rubber gaskets. They're maybe like, you know, quarter inch thick, just to water seal. And I think that's all we're gonna need. Uh, that and lock washers and um, and even lock nuts just to be safe. So it's plastic dip, so it looks nice. And um, yeah, let's see it when it's all when it's all wrapped up, uh, mounted up on both sides. All right, we're up here. Roof racks are mounted up, or at least the um, the long bars anyway. Bolted on, lock washer, lock nut, huge washer, strut, super strut, super strut, and again, this just little gasket. Cut from this, I got it at Lowe's. Cut down to the width, just so it'll fit in this channel and act waterproof. So next, we're talking about the crossbars here and the roof deck. So we're gonna do some interesting ways of mounting the crossbars so that we can fit the Thule on one side, but also have this roof deck space. So we're right now just laying out all of the planks to see how and where they fit, get the spacing right so the Thule fits nice, and so we can mount up the solar shower, which is sitting over there in the woods. So let's see how that goes. All right, we finally did it. We got roof racks loaded up. Looking good, painted and mounted. So we got struts running down along, bending the length of the roof. We got these crossbars, sturdy, painted, looking good. We're gonna keep painting these and trim this down so the tool can fit on. They're overhanging a lot right now, almost too much. Um, they're supposed to, but they'll still be narrowed down a little bit. We'll have the Thule overhanging on one side pretty far, and we'll have the roof deck overhanging a good amount on the other. But um, it's a little bit too much, maybe two inches off each side. Um, we got cedar planks over here for the roof deck, and over there on the Volvo, we've got the Thule box. It's getting prepped to get moved onto here, so it's looking good. And um, yeah. Moving on, I think I'm gonna call it for the day though because I'm pretty tired and it's like 1 a.m. So, let's go. All right, so I found a much, much better solution for mounting these crossbars. So, I was gonna use these, which are meant actually for these types of strut where they lock in like this. And then they hold, you know, you can hold a bar just like this. But um, they're ugly because, as you can see, they, they stick up a bunch and it's gonna stab you in the back if you're like trying to sit or lay on this this deck. And um, it, it honestly doesn't even hold it that well. So, I can't get that out. So what I did instead was I got these sections. So, so I got these things. So these are just one inch pipe mounts that um, 
that are literally meant for just mounting this like this. And then I got these guys, which are, again, meant for mounting inside of these struts. I just snipped the uh, either plastic or spring off of it, and you can drop it in. So that's the gist. You drop it in like that, tighten the screws, and then uh, it's in pretty tight. It's pretty good. It's not mounted on the other side, but it is locked in and super low profile. Once I, you know, Plasti did this as well, it's gonna be way better looking, more flush, and even hold better than these alternative things. So these things actually kind of suck. So that's the gist. So we'll see once these are all mounted up, how it looks. So once the roof racks are mounted up, we had to make the roof deck. So basically what we did is we bought a shitload of cedar planks, cut them to size, varnished them up, varnished them again, fucked it up, sanded them all down, varnished them one more time, and got them ready to mount up onto the roof. I don't have video for that because I forgot to film it, so I'm not sorry. All right, last we wanna put the, uh, we wanna put the wood decks on and just line them up to make sure they're in the right spot. And then we're gonna drill holes in them. All right, we're out here mounting the roof deck on. Oh, that looks good. That's gonna look so good. Oh, and we had to install the ceiling fan, which was, uh, sketchy. Holy oh. shit. Is this thing still under warranty? And here it is. Boom. So we've got solar shower lined up. This is removable, so we can have all of this space for lounging area, right? We've got space for the skylight slash fan and the Thule, all mounted up on these circular racks. So these will hold bike racks, kayak racks, this sucker, and the Thule box. And if you don't want them, you can remove any of them and have as much deck space as we want. Not to mention it's totally flush, so it's not gonna stab you in the back if you're laying on top of it. Only thing we had to do was add just a little bit of, of supports because this would flex. Um, so these, I think there's four of them running all the way down. And boom, there it is. There's your roof deck, check it out.